Well, he's been Australia and New Zealand's pyjama king for the last 30 years with his fun, fashionable and quirky sleepwear and he's an avid supporter of animal charities as well. To tell us more, please welcome back to the cafe, Peter Alexander. Yes. Welcome. Hi. Uh, last time you were here last year, we actually went and got into bed with you. I we know, literally I'm got still into recovering. Bed with you. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> no, someone gave me some cream and it all, the rash just went, went away. <laughs> <laughs> it is really, really good to have you here in the studio Thank with you. us. Um, 30 years? The, 30 years of sleeping around, you know, I've slept around Australia for 30 years, New Zealand about 10 years, so uh, it's been a fun journey. You I'm do? very tired though. I bet you yeah. are. Getting 30 all years, what, did you start when you were five? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I started, I was a child prod, prod, prodigy in the sleepwear <laughs> game. Yeah. So what have you done, anything special to celebrate? Oh, uh, I've done plenty. Um, I, I've that we had, can talk about on yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> I, I always say I'm very good in bed professionally. Personally, I've got a, a lot to learn, <laughs> but professionally, I swear, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, no, we've had we've had a really good year of celebrating. A lot of this Christmas collect collection's amazing. I did the best of the thir thirty years, and uh, it's uh, the time has flown. I, yeah, it just seems like a minute ago I was working from my mother's dining room ta table, but now I've got like about one hundred and fifteen stores, fourteen of them being in New Zealand. Wow! So you're turning over, you know, about one hundred and seventy-five million dollars yes. a year. Your oh. stores are absolutely incredible. Obviously, Thank you yeah. have a lot to do with them yes. and their design. How did it all start? Started off with a really stupid idea um, to create pyjamas in a market 30 years ago where there wasn't really any pyjamas. There was a little house on the prairie, virginal stuff, mm -hmm. and then there was very femme fatale, racy, naughty slut mm, stuff. Very satin. Yeah. Very satin. <laughs> and my friends were either not quite virgins and not quite femme fatale, so they were somewhere in the middle. So I created a collection for them and it just took off and, uh, and it's never looked back. I've just grown and learnt and uh, yeah, it's been a, a great journey and it just shows you if you have a good idea, you're passionate yeah. about something. But the other thing I'm passionate about is pyjamas and pu puppies. So I, I'm, I love doing all the work I can for poor, poor justice and the RSPCA in Australia. Yeah, um, I love the way that you described your Christmas collection. I had a chat with Peter yesterday, I was very lucky. Yes. Um, you, what did you, how did you describe your Christmas well, collection to me again? Okay, I wanted to do something really fun. So I, my, my sort of mood board was Santa vomiting. <laughs> so it was <laughs> glitter and pom-poms and tinsel and I just put it all on t-shirts and things like that. So it's that whole sort of daggy Christmas uh, jumper thing but more about sleep, sleepwear. So it's to have a laugh and fun at Christmas morning. Who doesn't want to look like a bit, a bit of a dick. But a Santa vomit. No, and yeah, <laughs> Santa, a little Santa vomit doesn't hurt anyone. And that's what you've done, especially for men, I think. Yeah. You know, years ago, we probably didn't care too much about no. pyjamas, but now you've made it cool. You I, know, I, I dress appreciate up, look good. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about looking... Well, it's about looking cool. It's about remembering your childhood and not minding looking like... A, bit sort of out, out there when you go to, go to sleep. So I just like having fun. It's all about whether you smile, whether you sort of have a chuckle. It's a, it's an emotional connection, pyjamas, and I just want to make the world a happier, glittery, vom vomity place. And that you know. sounds pretty perfect to me. <laughs> um, you are also poor justice. You just mentioned you're involved yes. with them. So how did you come to be involved with them? Well, I've been a long-term ambassador for the RSPCA, and we've raised close to a million dollars for them over the last few years. And uh, poor justice, I was looking around for a, a charity New Zealand that I could attach myself to and these guys are great they just they care so much about animals and it's all just like they just do it out of the love and I really respected that and wanted to do, do, do what I could so we sell chocolates in store where 100% of the charity uh, price goes to the That's charity good. and we do whatever ever we, we can but as I said, puppies, pajamas in bed, some choc, choc, chocolate. Oh. Could could life get any yeah, better? No, you're right. I you're mean, living the dream. Life, life is life is good like that. And look at all this, because you know, on the packaging, dogs. On yeah. Harry McCleary. Harry um, McCleary. Yeah, yep. these are great dogs. So good on you, Pete. Yeah, no, you're, I, I, you're I a like cool that. man. Thank, th thank you. And there's, I mean, there's so many great. Christmas gift ideas and also on the website peteralexander.co.nz it goes uh, all through New Zealand delivery really quick so please go on and have a look. Awesome thank you so much always pleasure. a pleasure having you in the studio and you can buy the special range of chocolates in store now with 100% uh, as we said of the proceeds going to poor justice and we have a very special treat too for you with the ultimate in sleepwear from Peter Alexander to give away a classic stripe PJ set with eye mask valued at $139 which is guaranteed sweet dreams. You can just head to our Facebook page to be in twin. Have a great Christmas. Hey. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Nice to have you here. Guys.